Yo, what's up, it's Zach. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be showing you guys my initial sort of setup, which I've brought down to Nullsec just to get a foothold and starting to do some content things. Um, just literally pretty basic right now until we'll get some of the capitals down and stuff. I'm uh, busy training into the, the Triglavian Dreadnought, so that's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, so I've been down here for about two weeks now and just on and off, I've been playing, uh, doing some like exploring things, just the general sort of stuff getting everything set up so i can be like fully self-sufficient you know i don't really want to rely on the corp or anything to uh, be given the ships and things unless it's like for the srp fleets or whatnot but yeah the just touch on the corp real quick so it is uh, galactic deep space industries what a bunch of good guys these are the the onboarding process was fantastic from spartan and ted as well just want to give those guys a shout out you do need to sign up for the the brave and the goon things and all that but i mean that's just general null sec uh, stuff i know it puts a lot of people off but maybe we could do a, a little video sometime just going through that because it is fairly simple but yeah so the the initial thing uh, i wanted to bring like a explorer ship down and then i wanted to do get a ship where i can do some dead sites and like combat stuff so first thing i brought down was the travel legion with uh, my virtue clone and stuff like that for this little astero and then we've rejigged the legion now it's not fit up at the minute but it's going to be like a ess like 100 mm fit it's like matt's uh legion from beamers excellent video if you haven't seen it i'll link it down below so that's that one i've got all the stuff pretty much i just need to get a web for it and uh, the main thing i've been using just on and off since i've been pretty casual uh the last like week or two is just the astero so i've just been logging in for uh, like an hour or two hours seeing what's like there to explore running the data sites and the deads and things and just being like super casual I think about a bill of this is in the Legion though, like the Legion fit. But I've made a fair chunk of cash just like messing around, right? This one especially the other day I logged in and I was really lucky the dead site was like in the system where I'm pretty much based at ZTAC X. So that was uh, pretty handy. 600 mil drop, I think that's the top drop on that one. It's a 610, which is pretty good. Yeah, some Legion bits there, some Sisters Core probes. But most of this has been, like you can see all the data site stuff and all the relic stuff and some blueprints and that so yeah it's been pretty good pretty lucrative nice little area of space we're in and the next thing we did was get our Vaga. so this is the, what i used to run the higher dead sites so like your 10 tens and your eight tens and stuff down here just have a super quick look at the fit it's not like crazily overpowered or anything it's just standard sort of stuff i've only went with a large shield booster because that's all i really need for the 10 tens that's pretty much all i'm going to be using this for really and then we've put a bit of bling on there just because they're cheap anyway. Like the, the EM shield hard enough thermal, like why not? And just your, your general drugs and things like that. So nothing too fancy, I would say. And I, what I, I think I brought the clone down for that the other day as well. So the... Where am I? Oh no, I've got me... Oh yeah, just me cheap crystal clone. So I think it's mid grades or something. Yeah, scrub crystals. So that'll do for that if I even need to use it. Which is, I'll probably not. And I did say earlier, I did bring the Virtue clone down. Now, I, for like a couple of days, I was scanning without the Virtues in and it, that's fine. But when you're used to like using the Virtues all the time with all the like the, the fancy implants and stuff, like you really get used to that in man. It felt like such a slog. So that was definitely one of the first things I got down as well, which was pretty cool. Not massively expensive. I mean, especially these uh, Prospector ones. And if you're going to do the Astero fit that I've got, you definitely need this black glass implant. So I'll just bring that up again just to show you guys because I'm sure I'll get asked. I'll link it all in the description anyway. Let's have a look. So we're running the Zugma integrated analyzer on this, which makes like hacking sites an absolute doddle. Like very easy. You can pretty much one tap most of the nodes, the five and six nodes, because your strength's like 60. And yeah, it's just so it's literally like a cheat code. Absolutely recommend it. You don't need all the virtues and everything to go with this. You just need the Zugma and that black glass implant, which is very cheap. Like 50 mil or something absolutely worth it it's came down in price loads since millions of people are farming it and yeah just uh some scan strength and things you know warp core stab just in case we get scrammed or whatnot or long pointed and some travel stuff on there we could probably change the rigs because we don't really need the, the extra strength like when the scan probe strength but it does take you down to like 166 uh points i think so yeah just leave it on there just because lazy can't be bothered to change it and the only other thing is our Loki, which I've been pairing up with there. Uh, I mean, I'm on Dirk at the minute, so on, when I get Sack logged in, he's got a Loki exactly the same fit as this, but with a Mighty Warp Drive. 
And it's basically just a cheap, like an ultra cheap uh, bar the sisters call probe launcher. Just a, like a haven runner or sanctums or whatnot or doing like the, the six tens. I've been doing six tens in the double Loki. It seems to work pretty well. And we're all like heavy missile launcher fits. So we're not like doing ridiculous amounts of damage. Like we're like 639, but the range is really good. Cause in these sites down here, like the dead sites and things, there's a lot of newts, but there's also like loads of webs. So the having the extra range is uh, pretty good. We could go the harm route and just use like a couple of tracking computers, uh, guidance computers, sorry, with the, the range script in and then just go like armor fit. But I think it's pretty much six and two threes. I like the sort of lazy flexibility of these heavy missiles because we can switch this out for Kaldari navies. If we can do that. There we go. And we got like 88k range. And like I said, Zach's got a micro warp drive on his just for first into the cans and stuff like that. So it works out pretty well. It's like mega cheap, less than 500 mil. And that's uh, made us quite a lot of cash so far. So I thought what we'd do, maybe, is uh, just check out a couple of systems where we like to go. So we're down here on Quirius because obviously Paul Goons and Brave and stuff. And man, like, I, I was looking at the map the other day and I was like, I could see all, like, the... Well, I wouldn't say enemy alliance, but all the alliance jump bridges like everywhere. And I thought, wow, that's crazy. But it's actually an option in the, the world thing now. Which I didn't realize. So you can see like all jump bridges and stuff, which is pretty mad. So I guess I'll be able to show this. So I'm going to send this vid to Ted just to see what I can and can't show or whatnot. But yeah, let's um, do a little a bit of explore. So you've got this little pocket here where we're set up. I've got a, like a huge market in K7. Obviously, like, 1D's over here, which we can get to fairly quickly. But this pocket's pretty busy at the minute, so I'm just going to set course to here. And add that as a waypoint. Add you. Add you. And we'll stop off at VT as well. There's normally, like, a bunch of guys in here, but they don't do the SIGs. So it's pretty nice. So we're going to take the jump bridge. And then we'll talk about some other stuff. All right, guys. We just jumped into VT. Um, there is some people running in here, which is all right. And we're going to scan these sites. We've got a combat site, a relic site, and a blood raider base. So that's like an unrated dead site. Which is uh, pretty cool, actually. I think we'll just do this relic site. Uh, we'll see what the data site is. And then I think that'll probably much call it a day, really. I didn't want to turn this into like a full exploring video or whatnot. But yeah, we'll just show you how it runs. Cool space. These don't flame us for some of my bad habits when I'm doing the hacks and stuff. Oh, this could be a spicy site, actually. Let's have a quick gander. While we're doing that, let's see what type of site this is. Oh, so it's an easy one. So we just need to approach. There's a couple where you need to set like a little route out to be more optimal. Oh, wow. It's actually a 610, guys. Damn. I think we might have to run this. Is anyone else exploring in here? No, just us. Man, this could be one of the first guides we get out, the 610s then. Might do this in the Varga as well, just to speed things up. All right, so I think we're going to bookmark that. All right, so back to the Relic site. Um, another little thing here as well, if you've watched the Eve Forever trailer. These are actually the ships from that as well. Not a lot of people know. It's pretty cool. Little tidbit. Right, so yeah, don't flame us for me scanning technique. I just sort of try and brute force it. But the way I try and do it is, if I start at one side, I just want to get across to the other side as quick as possible. There we go. I know there's like the rule of six and all that sort of thing, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. So let's just lock these up that we're going to be doing them in order. Got a bit of a cold today as well, guys. Sorry for the voice sounds a bit weird. So there are these nodes here. Since we're strength 60, we can literally just one tap them where if you didn't have the Zoog and the Black Glass, like that wouldn't happen. So you'd be losing HP. That's why it's so good. Uh, another thing as well, since we've only got one tool, uh, you normally get three, but like literally your keys one, two, and three are like little shortcut keys as well, if you didn't know that, guys. Which is really handy. That's why me stuff's like set up weird here. Like F1's empty. Or oh, the number one, rather. When I get a tool, I'll just click it straight away. And that's the thing. 15 mil out of that. It's not too bad. Oh, that can. Keep going. Capital Energy Locus. Blueprint, probably worth not much. 
Should have put a gun there. That was a quick one. Another four mil. This is actually not too bad, is it? Approach that. Let's use the hotkeys on the way just for speed. A lot of the time when you're exploring a null, you're like in hostile space or whatnot, so it's good to use that muscle memory. Two mil. And last. Hopefully we'll get something here. So you can see, you know, obviously we're not making like hundreds of millions of SK, but if you do this like for half an hour every day, it certainly adds up. Like I say, I found that 610 there as well, so potential like nearly a bill's worth of gear to get out of that. Not too bad at all. So let's just head back. So what did we get? I think my stuff's worth like 8 mil or something. Yeah. So 21 mil all together. Well, that's not bad for a couple of minutes of work, yeah? It's only the first like sort of system we've set to. But yeah, that's uh, generally the setup, guys. Hopefully the next vid I'll get this 610 done and make like a full, like a really cool guide. Like one that looks spot on as well. Not just like a flat gameplay thing. Uh, hopefully make it a little bit more entertaining. But yeah, that's the initial setup. Which I would um, obviously recommend to everyone as well. Just get your scanning thing, get your, your dead site running so you can be self sufficient. And then just start bringing your PvP ships down after that. So happy days, right? I'm going to head home and I'll catch you in the next one.